The Korean government has rolled out a set of measures to stabilize the country's red-hot real estate market, including tighter lending requirements and a capital gains tax hike on individuals with multiple homes. The measures target property speculation while also providing more housing to people in the low-income bracket. Kim mo has the details. During a briefing with reporters this afternoon, the Minister of Land, Infrastructure and Transport Kim Hyun Mi announced new measures aimed at reining in speculative investments in the housing market. Before she began, the minister stated that the government will not approve in any way the use of real estate speculation as a means to earn money. In order to do so, we developed a firm principle not to use the housing market as a means to stimulate the economy. With this firm stance, she said that the government's new measures can be classified into three groups. The first is to respond with different customized measures for overheated regions. Under this policy, the government designated all 25 districts in Seoul, as well as the cities of Sejong and Gwacheon, as excessive speculative zones, making them subject to far tougher tax and financial regulations and state scrutiny. Secondly, the government will work to prevent owners of multiple homes from buying more residences for investment purposes, but at the same time support real estate transactions for those who actually need a home to live in. It adopted stricter rules which require multiple homeowners to pay higher capital gains tax when they sell their houses. The government also lowered the loan-to-value or debt-to-income ratio to 40 percent in some overheated regions in order to make it harder for people to take out loans and help contain real estate speculation. And lastly, the government seeks to increase its supply of housing for low-income earners by expanding its public housing provisions. These latest efforts are largely because the government felt the need to tighten its leash on the housing market even further as it was unable to see the desired effect from its previous property market guidelines unveiled in June. But with house prices continuing to rise, there were calls for additional more comprehensive measures this time. Earlier in the day, Finance Minister Kim dong yeon said, however, that if price instability continues, even after these new guidelines, the government will deliver further measures down the line that better suit the market conditions. Kim mo Arirang News.